Hello Aquarius Singles, welcome to your reading. So what are we gonna do in this reading? It's not just about love, right? This is the message from Spirit where they want you to focus what you'll experience as far as the energy coming in. And uh, love could show up, I'm not saying it won't. But you know, with the single readings, sometimes people get tired of like, oh, when's this person gonna come in? Or X energy showing or that kind of thing. So we're really gonna focus on where you need to be, what spirit wants you to know in order to bring in the right person. And if they show up in the reading, even better, right? So we'll clarify, we'll see where your energy is coming into the current moment, some of your challenges, what's on your mind, what does spirit want you to focus on? So what's the main energy? what you'll experience coming into the near future, outside influences, hopes and fears, and then we'll look at your outcome and see where spirit is guiding you. We're gonna start with an oracle card of advice. So what does Aquarius need to know? Aquarius singles. All right, let's see what your advice is. Letting go. Releasing the past can seem like a challenge, but it can also be liberating. Your angels will help you let go so that you can fly higher than ever before. Endings always herald new beginnings. Choose to allow the situation to lead you to a more joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts. All right, hopefully y'all can see that okay. So there's your primary, you know, there's the focus from spirit. That's what they want you to focus on. We'll see why. We'll see what the cards have to say. Again, you know, is new love coming in? What's this person like? And where's your path and your focus? Real quick, I do want to mention, um, if you guys are interested in signing up for email alerts, so in other words, after I do a round of readings, I'm sending out the playlist. And what I've done is, because YouTube is not reliable, I think, um, last time I checked, I think it was about 1,700 of my 250,000 subscribers are notified when I upload. That is just absolutely ridiculous. So I've created an email notification system. I've put that below. It's a safe link. I created it myself. Uh, go ahead and click on that. Sign up for the email, please, notifications. That way I at least know that the message I'm working on and the readings I'm doing are literally getting to you. I mean, that's kind of the whole name of the game, right? and um, you will be notified, you'll get the entire playlist. You just click on it and then boom, it takes you to all the readings. So you never have to wonder when I'm gonna upload or search for my videos. It's becoming more and more difficult to find my channel, my readings, etc. So if you're interested in that, I would really, really appreciate y'all signing up for that. Um, it would just make me feel a lot better knowing that you're actually receiving the readings. Uh, so that'll be below in the description box and pinned in the comment section. Uh, private readings are open now too. I'm almost all caught up. So go ahead and book your reading. I'm not sure how long I will leave those open. All right, let's get to your reading. So Aquarius singles, what do you need to know? What does spirit have in store for you? So coming into the reading, what do we got? What's your energy coming in? You got the queen of pentacles in reverse. What's the influence or the challenge to that queen of pentacles in reverse? The page of wands. All right, what's on your mind, Aquarius? What's going through your thoughts? The Eight of Swords. So there's that, like your swords, there's your air energy. It's the mind, right? It's communication, it's the mind. But going back to that Oracle, it's kind of being maybe a little bit stuck in your thoughts. You know, if I move forward, you know, the past is gonna just repeat itself. Or, you know, maybe some of you still are stuck on what's happened with the past or a past person. What happened in your recent past, Aquarius? The Three of Cups in reverse. So yes, the Three of Cups in reverse can be cheating or third energy, but it can also be, listen, we just can't come to an agreement, right? There's a breakup or <clears throat> there's a pulling apart because we're just not on the same page. You know, again, in the recent past, some of you, again, even if it didn't involve a specific person, it was just that energy of, am I ever, am I ever gonna be on the same page with someone? Am I ever gonna feel that joy? you know, finding somebody that is a match for me and that we can agree on what we want for the future. What's the situation? What's the main message from Spirit? Seven of Swords in reverse. So there's your Aquarius energy. So, you know, Seven of Swords in reverse. Again, something's been discovered. Whether somebody stole your heart, they stole your thoughts, they stole your money, they stole your Pop-Tart, they stole something from you, maybe even your trust, right? It's all out in the open. They, maybe somebody was caught doing something that was shady. It doesn't literally have to be stealing or cheating. 
it's just you thought there was some sort of strategy and maybe it just didn't come to fruition and everything came out. What's coming into the near future that you'll experience? The Nine of Cups. There's that joy and happiness again with the Nine of Cups. This is manifestation. This is also getting out there and doing things that you love, that make you really happy, right? And feeling pretty good about it. I also feel like some of you singles, there is somebody here who probably reaches out at some point. It doesn't mean, oh, we're reconciling. It doesn't have to be that. It could just be somebody sees you walking down the street, a friend says something about you, they see you on social media, some sort of energy, and it feels kind of good when they reach out, right? It's kind of like, uh-huh, nine of cups. Like, you did me wrong, you know? And, you know, listen, nothing wrong with that. How do you see yourself right now? What are you up to? Justice. Really, really diving into right over wrong, right? You see yourself as bringing balance to your life, not just in love, but in all areas. Because you know when you're vibrating on that right level, that's how you bring in the right person, right? And with justice, this is not just focusing in one area of your life. It is bringing balance in different areas of your life as well. You're very, you see yourself as very truthful, as you know, with justice, you're taking that sword and you're really cutting out the unnecessary. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet? The sun, beautiful uh, Leo energy. You've got the nine of cups, you've got the sun. I see you guys being really happy, doing things that bring um, you know a lot of change to your life, a lot of healing, a lot of clarity. Yes, it could be that, you know what, it kind of feels good to hear from somebody that did me wrong. But at the same time, I see you focusing on something that makes others happy as well. It makes yourself happy. It makes others happy. It doesn't have to be, you know, you're inventing a cure for anything, you know, life-changing. This could simply be the energy of, you know what, you help somebody, you help a little old lady cross the street that's got like 30 bags of groceries. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's doing the right thing. You even see yourself in that energy. Some of you actually um, also want to do some charity work, which I would highly recommend. That energy feels very strong here. What's going on in your hopes or fears, Aquarius? The magi magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. So creating, you've got major arcana number one. So this is creating new things. It's having everything that you need. Again, I feel a strong focus on because maybe somebody doesn't have to be love, it could be anybody in your life, has taken, 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 and your emotions, you're now all about taking that energy and creating good things, like spinning good things out of the negativity. It's beautiful. Now, some of you are a little bit, you know, you are a little fearful. Is somebody else in love or just in my life gonna come in and, you know, they've got the gift of the gab, they're gonna try to manipulate me, because that seems to be the energy that I've been sitting in. You will hear from somebody, it doesn't have to be love, but it could be anybody that has manipulated you, has stolen something from you, whether that's your trust, your livelihood, anything like that. And your fear is that this person isn't gonna be true to their word. What's the outcome? What's the main message here? Eight of Wands in reverse. I, th I see you blocking energy. You could just flat out be blocking communication with this person. But also, you know, that eight of wands in reverse is a lack of forward movement. It's like, it's just not going anywhere. You're not gonna allow it to travel forward. You're blocking, you know that there's no change. There's a lack of change. Cause that eight of wands in reverse is a lack of change. There's no forward movement. So I see you, um, because this person has been, you know, outed, like something's come out about somebody in your life, Aquarius. And I see you blocking that energy. So again, kind of like a lesson from the universe. They're like, they throw you this energy. They're like, oh, okay, Aquarius, let's see how you handle this, you know? And it, you know it's the right thing with justice because you see yourself as being fair and, you know, knowing that you've got to cut certain things out for the good things to come in. All right, what does Aquarius need to know? Aquarius singles. And again, remember your Oracle card was letting go. So, you're definitely in that energy of letting disappointment go as well. People that have just effed you over. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse coming in and the moon? Could have even been like your own mother, or sister, or someone like that. Queen of Pentacles in reverse can be a little bit, it, it, it's selfish. It's energy of it's mine, 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 mine. I don't really care about anybody else. So there's definitely somebody around you like that. Maybe somebody cheated with the Queen of Pentacles. There's deception around it. Somebody, you know, has very ill intentions 
And what's influencing this is this Page of Wands and the Page of Swords, two cards of communication. <sighs> yeah, see, they still want to reach out to you. And, you know, they're kind of watching, waiting. It's very manipulative energy around you. It's no wonder that you're like, you feel like, God, is this the only type of person or people in my life that I manifest, that I attract? Why is the Eight of Swords on your mind? Yeah, with the Eight of Swords. That's the second time that's happened today. Double energy, pay attention. Somebody likes to kind of keep you stuck, Aquarius. They want to keep you in that energy, right? Why the Eight of Swords? Why is this on your mind? Yeah, so the Strength card on your mind. You kind of feel like this person has you where they want you. Like, or they've been able to do this to you in the past. That strength card is somebody that feels like they can overpower you. They can tame you. They, they have you right where they want you. You want to hold back from that energy because all it does is leave you feeling stuck and trapped and going crazy in your thoughts. What happened here in the past? Three of Cups in reverse with the Five of Swords. Could be somebody that also like triangulated. Do you know what I mean? Like they tried to get other people on their side or something like very manipulative energy with the three of cups in reverse five of swords somebody who's good with words at like getting people on quote unquote on their side in some way it's just destructive it's manipulative it's just ridiculous and your energy is all about moving away from this it's in the foundation seven of swords in reverse why is this here for of course oh my god with the seven of swords look at all the double energy y'all are getting this is in the foundation and you're getting double energy so somebody in your environment aquarius has cheated stolen lied taken something from you your trust whatever it is it's out in the open it's already been revealed or it will right it's in the foundation it's coming out but then here they are again trying to do it again like who do they aquarius who do they think they are? Do I need to call someone? Because this person just seems to think that they're going to get away with this over and over again. <sighs> Coming into the near future, Nine of Cups. Knight of Swords. Somebody's rushing in. They're kind of smug too. But I also feel like this is you guys. A lot of you are in pursuit of things that make you happy outside of whatever the hell is going on here. And you're on your way out quickly with that Knight of Swords. But I would also be careful because there's an energy of like, rah, right? The Knight of Swords can be drama. It can be somebody who's quite impulsive. Um, and they kind of get off on that. Like it feels good to them. Like what the hell? Uh, you see yourself as just trying to do the right thing. You see yourself as justice with the world. So endings, new beginnings. You just want to end it. Two major arcana. So you know it's a big deal. You know you've been through this this cycle with this person or group of people or whoever this is and you see yourself as wanting to cut through that you know the only way to get out of your head and to get in a more balanced place is also to do something that brings achievement and success a goal of some sort again like you know volunteering your time like doing something nice for someone you know getting out there getting out into the you know the outdoors and it's just it's an energy of Aquarius having a lot of realization and spirit really pushing you in that direction to put up a barrier a wall against this energy what's in your environment so what's hidden that you don't see coming you've got the Sun Leo energy and the king of cups look at all that healing I do feel like a lot of you down the road will hear a little bit also have a love offer. It could be a Scorpio or they have Scorpio in their chart. Doesn't have to be. King of Cups just loves unconditionally and it brings a lot of happiness. This is going to also be an offer from somebody who's completely different. It's a change. You might even meet this person while you're focusing in a new direction on your healing and on bringing healing and happiness to others in some way as well. I definitely feel like you'll have new love in your environment. This is ick, and this is beautiful. All right, I'm just saying. What's going on in your feels, Aquarius? You've got the magician taking everything you have and spinning it into something new, creating magic. It's nice, yeah, something new. The Empress, Taurus, Major Arcana, loving yourself, beauty on the inside, but also the outside, paying attention to eating well, looking good, feeling good. And she is feeding a connection. It's moving forward. And you're working really hard to do that. And I think for a lot of you, 
This is also within yourself, right? Feeling good about yourself. Again, getting out in nature, eating better, going to the gym, doing all those things. You know, the magician with the empress is all about creating new things, valuing yourself, taking good care of yourself, loving yourself, and then you can expand into this beautiful connection I see in y'all's environment. It's nice. What's the outcome? This is just putting a stop to negative energy. It's blocking people. Some of you literally through communication, but you just know things are not moving forward. It's stuck and you're just not going to put any more energy. What's this eight of wands in reverse? Yeah, ten of swords. You like you've stuck me for the last time. Mom, dad, ex, current partner, friend dog, cat, hamster, coworker, whoever has done this to you, you're done. It's just like that 10th sword has been put in your back and you're ending it. You're tired, you're laid the F out and there's your air energy. You guys probably can hear some background noise. I have an eighth grader who's getting ready for her eighth grade dance tonight. We've got blow dryers, we've got music in the background. It is literally impossible for mom here to work in silence. It's just real life, so I apologize. But yeah, you're putting an end to that. You're done with that. I love this because this has probably been going on for a while. Letting go. Boom. There's your energy. So whoever this is, Aquarius is like, big F you. Just try to get through those swords because you're not going to get far. I'm, I'm on a glow up here. And that energy is bringing this beautiful energy for you singles. I love it. It's going to be a little while. It's not going to happen overnight. And we're not sending out wedding invitations yet, but this is all about a huge glow up outside, but also your inner beauty and your inner strength, focusing on a, a lot of you. Again, I keep stressing because I'm feeling it here from spirit. Go do something new. Like for me, I was really stuck. I felt very stuck for like the last month. I tried a new yoga class. You know, I'm volunteering, helping senior citizens. You know, it's like those types of things. I think that spirit is pushing you in that direction as well. Go to a food pantry, sign up to, you know, um, to volunteer time for that as well. So that's what I've got for you, beautiful Aquarius. You guys, again, sign up for that email notification. It will really, really help me feel better as well because I need to be able to communicate with y'all, not just with readings, but other things that I want to make sure that you guys, that my voice is being heard, that I can get a hold of you guys, that I can send, you know, messages. I'm not going to spam you. It's not going to be a whole lot, but I want to know that my loyal subscribers, I can actually be heard and I can communicate with. And again, if you guys want to um, book your private reading, I don't know how long I'm going to keep them open. So book your private reading below as well. All right, Aquarius, I love y'all hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.